The Cold War raged on, and Richard Maldonado decided in 1955 it was time for him to join the U.S. military service. It was a spur-of-the-moment thing. I was on a bus going home from, uh, from school, so I stopped, I stopped downtown and I went to the post office, to the recruiting office, and I was going to go into the Marine Corps, but they, uh, there was nobody in their office, and the only one that I seen was the Air Force, so I went in there. That was part of it, and the other part, I wanted to get away from my environment. Richard ended up serving in the Air Force in the mid-1950s during the Cold War. He detailed his scariest moment while in Japan. And it, it was, I was on the flight line, and we were put on a high alert. And I was wondering what it was, because we didn't know what it was. And I'm thinking, oh, are we going to go to war? While he did not go to war, Richard spent most of his time helping the community of Japan recover from the bombings of World War II. I think as we went to an orphanage, we took uh, clothing over to some orphanage. And I remember it was in the wintertime and it was cold. After being an inspiration to many in Japan, Richard noted some of the things that he took away from his time in the service during this crucial point in world history. For me, it made me a better person, a better man, uh, maybe more responsible. And a lot of, I met a lot of different people. And I pick up a lot of good things and bad things from, you know, different people. Though he might not have realized it back then, Richard Maldonado was an inspiration to many in Japan in the community that he served there. For TCU News Now, this is Ethan Love.